I never thought this day would come, guys. Today, I am finally going to be assembling the Mercedes-Benz SLK 55 AMG Special Edition. When this car came out and it was nearly 13,000 tokens, I thought, there's no way I'm ever going to get this car. And then, when it turned into blueprints, I did not think I would ever get it either. But then, the multiplayer event came out. And this is the first multiplayer event that I actually ground through to get a car. Because I hate playing the same track over and over again with the same car, but for this one, it's worth it. I ended up at a position of 331 with 8,617 points. This was plenty for top 2,000 in which I would get my final 13 SLK blueprints because I already had five. So let's open them and then let's go and assemble this amazing multiplayer car. And here we go, 13 SLK blueprints all at once. You can bet I had a smile on my face throughout the entire process of this. So now we go 18 out of 18 blueprints and assemble. Boom. So the reason my rank is slightly high is because I upgraded top speed to one in the cup when it first came out. And then eight hours later, the SLK finally finished assembling. This was probably the nicest car that I've ever gotten in Asphalt 8. Except maybe the Vulcan. I still really like my Vulcan. So I tuned up the car to a rank of 1065 with a tuning of 0300 and in Pro Kits we have 1010. Pro Kits are actually slightly more speed efficient than the normal upgrades so it is probably best to do them first instead. But this car, no matter how you tune it for top speed anyway, it's going to be amazing in multiplayer. So this is the very first race I played in in my SLK. So there is another SLK in this race, which you saw at the beginning, but there is yet another SLK in this race as well. Yeah, three SLKs in one race. You're gonna start seeing a lot of that more if you play down this rank because a lot of people are going to be tuning them around this rank. However, a lot of people are tuning them slightly higher as well, and I'll get to why I think I should tune higher than this a little bit later in the video. But this tune worked in this race very well. The two other SLKs in this race are higher than me. One is just above 1100, the one that is directly behind me right now, and off to the left now, he is just slightly faster, and the other is a 1068. This 1100 one tried to knock down me, and I'm not sure why I didn't get knocked down, but he got slowed down enough because of that failed knockdown attempt that I was able to get ahead again. Now, one thing you'll notice about the SLK, and you probably have noticed already if you played much in the SLK multiplayer event on Alps, was that it has terrible nitro efficiency, which is why I'm having to wag quite a lot to regain nitro. Now, I'm not sure about this, but I've speculated that in this car, it might actually be better to not wag and to just go along without nitro. I don't think that is correct, but let me know in the comments if that is correct. I've just thought about that because of the terrible nitro efficiency, and this car doesn't actually get that much speed increase from nitro anyway, so I don't know. Yeah, tell me in the comments what you guys think about that. So we are now coming fairly close to the end of the second lap, and the SLK behind me, the rank 1100 one, has not managed to catch up. So I'm not exactly sure what happened there because he is just slightly faster. So I gotta say, even after driving this car so much in the multiplayer cup, I didn't actually get tired of it. Alps was a very good track for it because it was short, it had plenty of places where other people could wreck so I could catch up if I started in last. Yeah, that comes from experience. And it was just an all-around good track for the multiplayer event. So we've come in first in our first SLK race against two other SLKs and a Range Rover who cannot compete with the SLKs. I'm very glad I came in first in this race because it was a ticket race and I am in Champion League. That's the problem with playing at this low of a rank. Even though the car by far obliterates everything else in multiplayer, if you come across other ones of the same kind that are faster and you don't manage to beat them, well, that's a bad thing because you're going to go down quite a bit because most of the SLK drivers aren't going to be in Champion this early in the season. And it's even more so now that the multiplayer event came out and so many people managed to get the car and see here is what I was talking about. Even though the SLK is the most overpowered car in multiplayer, 
you're gonna lose to other higher tuned SLKs very often. Like this one ahead of me, he is, I don't know how much higher, but he is certainly a good bit faster, probably at least 10 miles per hour. And in this case, unless he makes a mistake, you're not going to be able to catch up to him. So this is why I am going to tune my SLK higher to at least 1100 something rating. And I'm going to try to make a video about it each hundred thing. Like I'm, I'm this one is at 1065. I'm gonna make one at like 1165, 1265, 1365, so on. I would have made one around 950 or so, but I figured that there would be so many, I mean so many SLKs tuned just above 1000, that that would be a disaster. It's still a good car there, just not overpowered enough. So I've skipped to the end of the second lap, and as you can see, he is quite a bit further ahead. So I decided instead of coming in second and losing probably at least four or five points, I just leave the race and lose two points. So now for our final race, which is interestingly enough on Impanima Showdown, just like the first one that was played in the SLK. And the 959 aimed for me as they would usually do because they know that this car is practically the only car that can beat them around this rank. But if you've got an SLK, the 959s are gonna feel like just any other old car. Because here, just 20 seconds into the race, I've nearly caught up with him again, and even though he dealt me a knockdown and this car has terrible acceleration, I managed to pass him before the first 30 seconds of the race is over. This is why this car is so ridiculously overpowered, and it just becomes more and more overpowered as you get closer to 1300 rank. So if you had managed to get the SLK in a time when the multiplayer event wasn't going on, you could leave it at this rank just fine, because other SLKs would be quite rare, and you'd be able to beat just about anything. But now that so many more people have the car, and they've tuned them mostly to at least 1100, that is why I would recommend tuning higher than this rank if you want to use it in multiplayer, because you'll have a better chance of beating other SLKs and you'll have a better chance of meeting people with higher ratings. Because in this race, for example, even though I beat a bunch of cars, nobody was even in Pro League. This Porsche 959, who I'm waiting around for just to see when he finishes, was just in Challenger League as well as the rest of them. And I did get very good matchmaking in this race, but that does not always happen. So thank you all for watching. Please like the video if you enjoyed it and consider subscribing for more SLK multiplayer videos. And I will see you later. Goodbye.